Welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? We're here with Gareth from Halifax. He's on £64,000, finally! We have someone with some general knowledge. And where the gaps are lacking, you've got your father. Absolutely. Uh, you've got no lifelines left now. Well, we're getting into the sort of territory with wife-changing winnings. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean life, sorry, I mean life. <laughs> this is heading for six-figure territory. So, here we go. For £125,000. The ruins of Urquhart Castle stand on the banks of which lock? Lock Lomond, Lock Ness, Lock Broom, Lock Marie. I know this. And I know this because I lost my leg there. Not not the castle, chill out. <laughs> you lost it. In Inverness. If I if I remember right, like, on the lock, and I wasn't there long, so I'd got to tell you, is uh, there's a little inlet with a castle. Ruins there. So, Kismet, I've got Loch Ness. <laughs> Is that your final answer? <sighs> Don't know if my wife would kill me if I lost this much money. Loch Ness, final answer. You just won 125 pounds. <laughs> finally! Finally! This is just the best show, isn't it? Absolutely. Well, you'll be thinking that. <laughs> I need my article. Right about now. <laughs> hey, this will improve the fixtures and fittings in your cafe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's one of the main sites, apparently. Uh, for reported sightings of the Loch Ness Monster. Yeah. Not that it exists. So you crashed, you actually crashed there, because that's a remarkable piece of good fortune. Not, uh, yeah, well, yeah, uh, not, I well... Mean, not actually I mean. at the... <laughs> no, I mean, we, yeah, uh, basically we'd booked a tour to go see that. Within that day I crashed, so yeah. Um, I remember... I remember the castle. I, I, I'm pretty certain it's the, one of the only castles up there, to be honest. Because, so. I mean, the thing, that's the thing about this show, you, you need great general knowledge, obviously, and you need fathers who know their way around uh, an airship, but you also need luck. I mean, Judith Keppel, we all remember the first million-pound winner. She'd been on holiday in Aquitaine, and that's why yeah. she knew the answer. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs>